ammunition and all. It is. So we're off into uh, the scrap merchants this morning to get rid of uh, some of the scrap metal from yesterday and there's a massive fire there. Oh, you can see it and all, can't you, look? Just drive straight in, mate. There's the flames. Yeah, and he's on Weybridge there, look, so you want to be right back of him. See him down there, he's on Weybridge. Morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. So we've just been to A1 Oh god we're in the van. A1 Metal Recycling in Elksley. And uh well we didn't have a lot to weigh in frankly uh, but this is what we did got. So we had a little bit of stainless and aluminium. Uh looks like we've got that marked up as uh 300 kilos, is that right? Seems heavy if it is. So we got £33 for that. Um, we had seven kilos of copper. Is that right? Or is that 700 grams? So it's got to be seven kilos. That came in at £17.50. We had five kilos of aluminium and we got £1.50 for that. Ali used to be a good price years ago. It's not now. And then the batteries, they paid us... Uh, what was that, Four, 41 kilograms worth of batteries, £16.40. So there you go. Uh, that's, the, that's the going scrap rates today on the 10th of June, 2020. So we're heading back into Retford now. I'm gonna go straight to the brewery and I might be able to get the workshop cleaned up before I have to leave at lunchtime. So the workshop to me actually looks pretty damn clean, so uh, well I did hoover. But there's nothing stopping me putting all the rest of this junk away while we're in the middle of a brew day. Because let's face it, I do have to stand around waiting for the mash to finish and stuff. So, off the back of that, I think I'll be better off getting straight into uh, cleaning this lot down so we can brew tomorrow morning. So I think I need to pop the lid on FE1 and FE2. I'm pretty sure I gave them a CIP before I put them to bed. But nevertheless, we'll pop the lid on them and uh, and we'll start the cleaning process straight away. And hopefully we'll be able to pull the grain out for tomorrow's brew day. As you can tell with the racket, folks, we are, uh, yeah, we're cleaning. We are in the middle of CIP for the boil kettle and a rinse for FE1, hot water rinse. And then we're going to put the sodium hypochlorite in there. I hope you can hear me. But as you can see, the whole brewery is looking a lot tidier now, apart from obviously cleaning hoses. So we found somewhere for the canning machine to live. That's going to live here. We've got the pilot kit over there. At some point, I think we're going to switch this around a little bit so we can put the um, the seamer in here as well somewhere. But for now, that's fine. I'm going to pop the camera down. Hopefully, you can still hear me. And uh, I'm going to get into these cans while I've got time. I'm just going to have a little look. It just looks to be PVC to me. Yeah, I think it is PVC. Looking at how it's welded in the corners, that's been um, been welded about 400, 200, 400 degrees C, I think. But it's just a PVC frame anyway. So that's squashed. Let's have a look inside. So just change the angle a little bit. So, 
kind of popped him out. I think that's going to be all right for for testing. But there we are. That's the first can that's uh, not had the lid on that I've ever held, frankly. And uh, hopefully, in a couple of weeks' time, we'll be putting lids on them. So, how do they stand up on the filler, you ask? Quite well, by the looks of it. Now, I've not got this plugged in, but in a couple of days' time, is there any more? Here's one that's squashed. Look, these two here are squashed. Let's pull them out. See if we can straighten them up. That's not too bad, is it, really? Then, yeah, in a couple of days' time, we'll have a look. Oh, I think they'll push. I'm pushing from the bottom there. I think they'll push nicely, folks. Anyway, I know you can't really hear me, so this is probably not, good not a good time to do this. So we'll come back later on uh, when the CRP's finished. Probably just for a quick look at what we're doing in terms of brewing tomorrow. And then we'll be signing off. And then, of course, tomorrow we'll be in here for a brew day. Another day done, so all of this is ready for tomorrow's brew day. Just got to turn these FVs on and we're ready to go. We've got grain in the tank and we've got water in the HLT. And I've also turned on the chiller. I think that fan needs looking at though. It's already at minus 3.8, so it shouldn't be a big problem. I'll have a look at that tomorrow if I've got a little bit of time in between the mash and the boil. So we'll see, we'll see. But other than that, folks, it's exciting. We're getting back on track. See you tomorrow. Friggin' right, you will.